guidance. It's just something that helps me focus and relax a little bit. So, sorry for all the chewing and the smacking my lips in your ears. I'm gonna try and work on that. Oh yeah, potholes galore. This guy's still getting over? What's he doing? This guy ahead of us. All right. Seven eighty seven, baby. Northbound. This is my old stomping grounds here. I've wheelied end to end on this road on my O uh, five Jixer six hundred and. Back in 05, you couldn't go too far. Oh, it smells like shit here. If you're from here, you know. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wifey's telling me how bad it smells. It smells like a toilet. It does smell like shit. But you couldn't go too far on this road back in the day without seeing fucking patches of rubber laid into the fucking road one after another after another usually it'd be at like the end of the straightaway guys you know not not making it around the turns but uh I made it around the turns just fine fucking hung some serious fucking wheelies One time in Pertown, I was just telling the story earlier to uh, this new dude I met, Asif. I was wheeling. I actually pulled over, like, right up, right there, just before the bridge. And um, I'll show you where I picked it up. But the trooper, I had no idea it was behind me for the wheelie pull over right here this fucking guy was behind me the whole time we actually had it on video and I have no idea where that footage is um, it was burned on a DVD back in the day so the wheelie started down here I'll show you but the guy shook my hand asked me if I had a plate Asked me if I was legit. Didn't want to know my name. He was a state trooper. Didn't want to know my name. Didn't even ask me to take my helmet off. And uh, he thanked me for stopping, for making him look good. Acknowledged that I knew what I was doing. And I think I made his day. I gave him a fucking hell of a show. There's the Water Vliet Arsenal. It's where we make fucking... Cannons and shit for tanks. Yeah, I'm, I'm down for whatever. I'm still curious if seven is paved, but whichever way you want to go. And that wheelie, it doesn't matter. Up to you. So that wheelie started right here, out of this turn. I'd come around that turn, set up, and full send it.
generally hanging them around 60. I'd pick them up around 55, hang them up like 60 to 70 in the balance point, clutch up, preload, stand up, front pegs, box stock, aside from cosmetics and a pipe, stock gearing, custom paint. I remember coming to a motorcycle call. Uh, I was working with my buddy Chico, Phil, and he did all the tows for 787 at a repair shop, towing company, and uh, he's still doing that to this day. What's up, Chico? Anyway, we get here, and it's a cruiser, and uh, ends up being a guy that I know. Um. Who I worked with, and he is weird, man. He was weirdo. And, uh, <laughs> he's on a gold wing. Still isn't paved. When are they going to fucking pave this? So he was on a gold wing and had this other dude I went to fucking school with on the back. They were, like, going to work or something. Were they both on one bike or one bike? Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Weird enough. He was all right. As far as like physically, but still a fucking weirdo. This other dude I knew from back in the day. Um, he ended up crashing on this fucking road. And I think it was this road. And uh, paralyzed from the waist down. But he ended up riding again. Is he still riding to this day? I'm not sure. I'd love to find out. If he is, I'd love to fucking ride with him, catch up. It's only been like 20 fucking years. What's up, love? Okay. Hey. 